Welcome to the Hustle Report by Jason Malone, presented by Clicks Media. What's up, guys? All right, I'm just going to jump right into it. So the, what I want to talk about today is the importance of executing. So many people sit around and they plan, which is what you're supposed to do, but then they plan for too long. And that planning turns into paralysis. So what I want to talk about today is how to execute on your plan, because we must plan, we must lay out what is going to happen. But then how do you take that plan and then start executing and not allowing for your analysis and your lack of ability to see the future to hinder you from moving forward and executing on the plan such that you can get results. Now, the whole point of the plan is, you know, a man without a plan is a failure or a person without a plan is a failure. And the reason why that's important is because you don't want to just be charting your way along a path and not knowing where you're going and how you're going to get there, right? So the purpose of the plan is so that you can map that out. You can identify, you know, what your mission is, what's your strategy, what are the goals, how, how are you going to achieve those goals? And that, that is the purpose of the plan. But the main reason why I want to harp on this right now is because what I'm starting to see with a lot of people is, especially as I'm progressing in my career, is those plans that they, you know, laid out five, ten years ago are still just plans. And there's just an, an overall lack of execution. So it's like, why is that happening? And it's just the plan can turn into paralysis, right? And it's 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 interesting how that can happen. And so what I want to get us to, you know, focus on today is, is taking that plan and then starting to execute. And a lot of times the lack of execution stems from fears, fear of the unknown, fear in, in terms of how it's going to play out, or they, there might be something within the plan that you can't all the way get the answer to. And so since you don't have that answer, it's causing you to falter and to not move forward and to start to start to execute on that plan. So, you know, it, it, it's it's good to have some discernment and, and some some level of risk assessment. But at a level, you're going to have to just start moving on things that you may not know all of the answers to. There's a level of decision making under uncertainty that has to occur in order for you to start to execute. And then when you're executing, it's OK to experience failure, because a lot of times the lessons that we pick up are from the failures and the failures are what allow for us or teach us to pivot so that we can move in the right direction. And if you have planned it out in the past, Perhaps maybe you've planned some of the pivots on certain things that you didn't know the answer to. And so once you got to that fork or that pinnacle point, your plan helped you to understand what next iteration you should take, you know, based on what you mapped out. But you can't let the fear of failure cause you to not move forward with the plan. You have to execute. I remember early on in my career, I was looking at purchasing this real estate opportunity. And at the time I was working in investment banking. So I was doing a lot of building out financial models within Microsoft Excel. And, you know, I built out this really cool model to help me analyze the building or the opportunity rather. And I must have tweaked that model. I spent so much time on that model, planning it out, planning out all the scenarios. I probably, who knows how many days and weeks I spent on that model. 
But in the span of time of working on that model, I ended up missing out on the investment opportunity because someone else came from up under me and, and took the deal. And I learned a lesson in there. It's like, you know, the deal might have looked amazing in that Excel spreadsheet, but it's all hypotheticals until I execute it. And because I didn't execute it, I missed on that specific opportunity. So the valuable lesson for me there was to, yeah, take, plan it out, take your analysis seriously, but you're not going to be able to answer every single question in your plan. You're not going to be able to map out every single step in your plan. And even if you do, how you planned it out is not how it's going to happen. Sometimes it might work out that way. Don't get me wrong. But for the most part, we're not in control. We can plan things out and we can try to control certain circumstances, but how it's going to happen is how it's going to happen. And your you know, concerted effort in a direction will help you achieve a result. But you cannot plan every little detail. And so since you don't have every little detail ironed out, at some point you're going to have to start executing. So whatever that thing is that is causing you to not move forward, to not, you know, take that chance, to not take that risk because you're unsure about that one little detail. At some point, you're going to have to look past that. At some point, you're going to have to just hone in and start executing on the plan. Because there is no progress unless you're trying to move forward. The deal is not going to happen in the spreadsheet. It's not going to happen in your notebook. You can map it out in the spreadsheet. You can map it out in the notebook. But the deal is not going to happen there. You're going to have to move out there. And get it done. So I'm here to encourage you to focus and execute. Don't let your deliberation be your downfall, right? And always, always do your due diligence. Always assess the risk. Always map it out. Always plan it out. But don't let those little pieces keep you from moving forward. All right, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. You know, this is being brought to you by Clicks Media. Clicks Media is a platform that's focused on giving you the tools and information that you need such that you can help grow and scale your business. We appreciate you guys for tuning in as always, and we'll catch you on the next episode.